It's Saturday morning. Good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke with another edition of the Hokey Video Blog. So happy you could join us. Oh, we've got a nice forecast in store for this afternoon. We're talking 60s today, but the spring preview only lasts one day, and that's it. Let's get to some cool stuff first. How about the Hokey Weather Blog? We're talking about severe thunderstorms, which we had some of those on Thursday. Only about 10% of storms in the United States each year are considered severe. The criteria for severe storms includes winds of greater than 58 miles per hour, hail greater than one inch in diameter, that's about a quarter size, and the presence of a tornado. So we only about 10% of those, one out of 10 in the United States, become severe. Here's a great image I found from NASA satellite image. You'll see all the ice they have now in the Great Lakes depicted by Areas here in the white, and certainly the ice cover this year has been almost record-breaking. 88% was the peak uh, portions of uh, earlier this week. This picture is from February 19th, and this 88% ice cover is the most that we've had in the Great Lakes since 1994. So you have to stretch back almost 20 years to find it that ice-covered. And, of course, that's a testament to how much cold weather that we've had over the eastern half of the nation this year. Just an absolutely stunning satellite image there from NASA. Our SkyTrack network of cameras, no less stunning. Beautiful morning out there, beautiful sunrise, no more snow left on the ground. You'll see it behind uh, the ski slopes there at Paoli Peaks. Beautiful view from South Louisville. Not too many clouds out there, just a few thin high ones there in Shepherdsville and Starlight, Indiana. As well, temperatures this morning are in the 30s across Kentucky, and about we will get up to about 62 degrees here in Metro Louisville. Nothing to show for it on the Storm Tracker 3D radar either. In fact, off to our west, though, we do have a, a little area of some mixed precipitation beginning to break out over southern portions of Iowa, as well as northern portions of Iowa seeing the snow. This is associated with a area. I just erased it there, but you just saw it. It was a uh, stationary frontal boundary stretching right about there from northern Indiana out to the mountain west. This will generate some rain showers and some snow showers for us as we head throughout late tonight into early tomorrow. Let's break it down for you here on Futurecast. There's a cold front at about 4 o'clock. We cannot rule out some of these front-running showers along and behind this area of I should say this cold front here. It's not being picked up well by Futurecast, but certainly models like the NAM are picking up on some of these little showers that we might see tonight. Then we get another disturbance in here just behind the front, and that's what generates our main area of showers. Might see a few snowflakes with this, but really I don't see any data that's jumping up and down about this. Shouldn't be anything to worry about, just a few snowflakes on the backside of this as cooler air continues to filter in. You'll notice that reinforcing shot of cold air powered by an area of high pressure out to our north and west. And as we go throughout the day on Monday, this will be shifting eastward, further further, uh, implementing these northerly winds here, this northerly wind regime that we will be seeing here across the lower Ohio Valley as we go throughout the middle part of your week. It's going to get cold again around here, folks. We're not talking the excessive cold that we've had in previous weeks, but below freezing is certainly on the table for high temperatures as we go throughout, looks like Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And as we go into the evenings here, we're going to see temperatures in the teens. We're talking about 17 degrees here by Thursday morning, according to the GFS. That seems pretty reasonable. My forecast low is about 16 for Thursday morning, about 15 as we head into your Friday morning. So even though we reach into the low 60s today, winter is not done yet. In fact, we see some of our biggest snows and some of our coldest weather in the month of March. Now, it's not going to be long-lived like it will be in January and February, but certainly some wintry weather cannot be ruled out as we go throughout the month of March. In fact, we do have another snow chance to contend with on Tuesday. doesn't look like a big deal right now, but we'll keep you updated on that as we get closer to time. For now... I'm meteorologist Ryan Oak. Thanks for watching.